All right, look. We've got this um, two series. I'm not sure why BMW have made this ugly car. Anyway, look. You got three, three cylinder, three um, ignition coils, coil packs, whatever you want to call them, and obviously three spark plugs underneath. You've got a little Torx. It's a bit fiddly. You don't have to remove all of this stuff. You can get access to it. I've got. I'll get some tools, and I'll recommend them. But you've got a little Torx. Um, male dove and um, a male tox and a female tox, you can remember. Now, so you got a female tox, it's looking like an E8 or maybe an E10, I'll confirm shortly. Pretty much the same as any um, ignition core removal, to be fair. The only difference is it's in a little bit of a silly position. And can you see that? It's in the field, like there's. Um, Mission coil number one. That's two number three. Let's get this off. Next we're going to use um, a medium size extension, this is, the, this is the small one, so we're going to use this one and we're going to use a 14mm spark plug socket, they're not going to fit in together because the gap's quite small so I'll probably just drop the socket onto the plug and then put the extension onto the socket. Make sure that um, socket is sitting flush on the plug and then anti-clockwise to get that out. And then you may need two hands because you might need to separate the socket from the extension before releasing it. And then that's how you get the plugs out here. Yeah? that happens you could use a magnet or you could just use a smaller extension and obviously that should be able to take everything out together as well so that's also another option in fact when I'm putting the new spark plugs in I use this extension so we'll um, run the new spark plug in like that a small extension with a spark plug socket I'll get the new ones and I'll show you
There you go. There's one. Three. All right, so the replacement is get yourself a good plug socket. Should have like a little rubbery grommet inside. Otherwise, you may struggle to grip the plugs, and then you'll have to figure out another way to get them out. If you don't have a socket that grips the plugs, to be fair, you could always just use the ignition coil. So once you've um, opened it and loosened it, just push the coil back down there. And then what should happen is it will just stick to the plug and then you can pull the plug out that way. If you've got a good socket, this works. And this is how we get the new ones back on, yeah? So you've got to be careful with the plug. You don't want to damage the electrode or anything else. Use a short extension and run it in. If you've got another short extension, you could easily just plug it on top to be fair. I don't at the moment, so I'll rotate it and I'll use this one. And that's pretty much it, man. It looks awkward because they're at the back and there's little space, but otherwise it's pretty similar to any other um, spark plug replacement with ignition coils. I'll show you something once I've got this one in as well. Um, let me show you something, ignition coil. So if you want to replace your ignition coils, um, they should come looking like that. You have this little white tab first. You've got to push that back. I've just removed it because I was struggling to figure it out. But I'll show you what. I'll show you. Now that I've fully figured it out. All right, I'll give you the theory and then you can try. I've shown you one way and I've also put the clip back. Whilst doing so, I've realized on this one, so the tab goes all the way here to the back. So that's the push down. I got stuck trying to push down these little things, but they don't do anything. So this will, this one will slide back. It's a bit fiddly, but it does anyway yeah you'd have to take my word for it that's meant to slide back and i'm guessing when that tab is slidden back if you then push that white tab down it should lift that tongue right at the bottom that one there it should lift it up and then that will be your release um with the white tab removed as you can see you press that little tab there the back and it's um, a lot easier but anyway you have a little play with yours I've given you a few demonstrations of what I do and you've also seen the way I've put the white tab back so that's also a way and um, yeah I hope that's helpful yo yeah yeah Yo, bare beef on the block, bare reckless guys. Quick to pull a knife out and catch up a guy. Christ will soon run your blocks like an exercise. When he cracks the sky, you goons will be petrified. When Satan comes around with his fruity lies, I'm a veggie guy, turn his melon cabbage pie. No average guy, I'm at war with myself, wrestle with the flesh like the Randy Savage guy. If my eyes call me to sin, I'll pluck out the eye Now you can call me Cyclops, the righteous guy God didn't mean physically pluck out an eye 
Let God be the truth in every man a lie Used to gang bang, eager to take a life Now I bang at gangs, letting off the word of Christ Take my advice, give your life to Jesus Cause this simple world we're living in can't satisfy Tell you the truth, I ain't gonna lie One day I'll smoke